Okay, this could be the weirdest video I've ever made, but I had some students ask me to record the different uh, hand parts for the brain and put it on YouTube so you can review for your test. Okay, so here they are, the things we went over in class. Okay, first of all, the reptilian brain, remember, is the brain stem. So we made a fist with our hand. This is gonna be my spinal cord going up into the brain stem where it swells, and we went reptilian brain stem. Remember the things about the reptile, so very basic functions in our brain stems, just keeping us alive, alert, and awake, okay? The next one was the medulla oblongata. So take your hand and go medulla oblongata, medulla oblongata, medulla oblongata. Remember the medulla oblongata is our heartbeat, all right? Medulla oblongata. The next structure was your reticular formation, so we went I'm awake, I'm awake, I'm awake. So reticular formation, that snap, reticular formation, reticular formation, all right? That's gonna be keeping you awake, all right? Alertness, so um, patients that have, uh, are in a coma, sometimes their reticular formation is damaged. The next one is the thalamus. So we have our basic brain structures here in our brain stem. The thalamus is right above and it shoots up to the different cortexal areas. So our thalamus is our relay station. So it shoots up and it says, that's the sight, that's feeling, that's uh, hearing, right? So it's going to our different cortical areas. The thalamus decides where is it gonna go, okay? Our next one, so we had our, our reptilian brain and then we went like this and went grrr, grrr. This is gonna be our mammalian limbic system, all right? So our limbic system, we have a few things. We're gonna keep our fingers up and in our limbic system, we have the amygdala. I'm so angry, I'm so scared. I'm so angry, I'm so scared. So these two parts, remember we talked about this is associated with uh, anger uh, and um, happiness. These are our feelings. So remember, Amy is an emotional person. The next part of our limbic system, the hippocampus. So we took our fingers and we went memories, memories memories. So the hippocampus, remember is that structure that kind of curves around like this on both sides, so that's our hippocampus, that's memories. I'm shooting things to my brain, my memories. The next part of the limbic system is the hypothalamus, so put out your knuckles here. Remember we talked about the four parts of the limbic system. So your, fur, um, your four parts, so your hypothalamus is right above um, or uh, below the thalamus, right, and the pituitary gland is in the middle here. Think about all the things the pituitary gland is in charge of. So hunger, feeding, right, so if overactive, uh, too, too hungry versus underactive is going to be um, not eating enough. Uh, you're fighting, so remember we punched our fists, right, so aggression, either too aggressive or not aggressive enough. Um, mating, so anything associated with testosterone, like too much testosterone, not enough, um, no sex drive, too uh, overactive sex drive, and then fleeing, so talking about um, our uh, adrenaline, so running away, okay, so our four F's, remember the feeding, fighting, fleeing, and mating are our hypothalamus. All right, the last part we have is your cerebrum, so I want you guys to take your brain, so we had your um, your reptilian part, your brain stem, then you have the limbic system, or this part of it, that's my mammalian, and then I want you to think of the cerebellum or cerebral cortex is goes on top of it, all right? So remember you have your left and your right side, and the parts of your cerebral cortex, you have your frontal, this is all your decision making, your high order thinking, and then right, let me tilt it up, so you have your frontal, right behind your frontal, so right here on the, the edges of this, this is my motor, then we have that headband, and it goes to the back to my parietal is right here, that's my somatosensory, so I'll, you can think like, scratch your head right here and be like, oh, that feels good. I'm thinking, oh, this feels good right here, okay? And then the back of your head, this is your occipital lobe, remember you have eyes in the back of your head, and then your temples on both sides, this is your temporal, this is your um, auditory, so your auditory nerves, your anything with hearing is going your temporal. So thinking, ooh, that feels good. Eyes in the back of my head. Temples, or can you imagine like covering your ears? All right, hope that helps you guys out. See you tomorrow.